Hello there, this is uh, part 3. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to be attempting to show you what happens when you don't have enough time to finish the work you're playing with and you come back another day to continue your session that you're working on to finish off the retopology because there are a few things that happen that aren't so great. Um, let's move that out of the way. So, yeah, we'll sort of go to move mode. There we go. Oh, yeah, one of the things is you, if you try to sort of straighten your model up sometimes, um, if you're in draw mode, it won't let you sort of, I mean, we'll let you tip it around, but it won't let you strain it up very well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If you go into move mode, then you can strain it up. Okay, so that's one of the little things to have a look at or keep an eye on is if you're having trouble getting it smack on on the front or sort of getting it to the side and you want it to be the side, if you're in move mode it'll snap a lot easier than if you're in draw mode. Just to keep that one going. Right, the thing we need to do now then is to show you what happens when you come back to a new session. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the recording where we are now, I'm going to quit ZBrush and then reload ZBrush. Uh, I'm going to save my tool out by the way, it's going to save the tool out for a start. So let's go up to uh, save as and we'll call this um, retop cat001 hit save. Okay and we'll, I'm going to come back in a moment with a new version and show you what happens. So uh, back presently. Okay so we're back in. Um, I've relaunched uh, ZBrush, so we are back where we are. Let's go to Load Tool and we'll load the cat back in and let it pop in. Okay, and then drag it out. There we go, and everything seems to be fantastic. And we'll hit Edit. Okay, now we'll let's go and drop that down. Let's drop our draw size down. Excuse me. <coughs> That's better. Right, cough the cat. There we go. And we'll scale in a bit. And we've got symmetry still switched on, so let's make a new start point, say here. And we'll click out here. And we'll click here. So, ah! Mm, okay, what's going on? So we'll click here, 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 and here. Hmm. Right, got a bit of a problem, haven't we? Let's have a look. The problem we've got is the polygons I've just built here aren't showing up. We don't see these little topology lines being built. If I hit the A key though, it is actually making them, but we can't see them. It's like, Arr. not so good. So how do we go about fixing that? That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? We've also we've got something kicking out here as well. Mainly because we couldn't see what we're doing, I think. So let's hit the A key again. So if I go over into retopology down here under topology and if I edit and then edit again what do we get now? Do we get any sort of working anything? Hit select. Ah, there we go. Here's our problem is we don't have it. Okay, that's yes, that's what we got as a problem. There we go. So let's go up to load tool we actually need to bring our little friend back in again Brr. which is cat4 there we go Let's load him up okay so let's pop back here I think what's, what we've got going off here is under topology under select we now can oops now can select that we didn't have the underlying um, model, so we do have that. We have edit topology, edit topology again. Let's see what we get now. Right there we go. So what we need to do to get this to work, we do have some issues going on here. So it's the sort of thing you need to to do and get fixed pretty rapid, if you possibly can. So there's something not nice going on here. Let's, whatever this is, let's go and sort that out. So this thing here, let's go and zoom into that. Let's, uh, we'll say scaling because it is actually scaling in. Let's go and 
this happens occasionally as well when you scale in it actually scales out there we go please work there we go and we'll hit the alt key bend that okay press the A key how's that looking that's better Had a bit of an issue going on here right so the, what happens when you do a new session and you bring in your tool um, back in it doesn't bring in the underlying model that it's referring to so you need to bring that back in as well um, even though it's, it's, it is actually showing that when you load that tool back up again um, it hasn't got it has, hasn't got it to refer to as a live thing which relates to that z-sphere that's linking into it it's showing you it but it isn't actually linking to it so you do need to load that up and the sort of the thing to sort of refresh it you need to go let's hit the A key again you need to go back in and basically switch edit topology on and off okay and then we're all good to go and everything's running fine and we're all tickety boo and all that lot so just to like let you know what that was all about because that's a bit of a showstopper because you think well it's a great tool but if I've got to build everything in one session I'm not going to be happy bunny or a happy buzzcat okay so um, that's just going to go and build over here and see just want to check out that the things we started with are not going to come up as a little bit of a mini nightmare um, and there we go and I'll press the A key now no we're cool right let's go um, A key and just quickly drop that down as well so under let's open all these up again so under subdivision drop that out to 1 just to completely check what we're looking at and hit the A key no we're cool we're good with that so that's fixed it so just to reiterate what we need to do um, you load your tool back up okay um, you then need to load up the underlying mesh again so it's in your tool library as it were and then with your tool active, the, the retopology tool active, you need to go into topology, you need to select it, yeah, and then switch edit on and off, and then we're we're cool. So it's a little bit of a, a workflow thing. You just got to remember that. Other than that, you'll have invisible things being built, and you think, what is going on? Um, I got the sort of answer on that via a PDF I found on Pixel Logic's forum, and that sort of hinted where to go with that. Um, their, their method was to actually clone it. Um, you don't think you need to. Um, or well, haven't done here and it's worked. So I think the way to make that work is loading your original tool, which you already had anyway, because that's what you started with, um, and you know it's the thing you're going to go and build over. Put that back in, um, and then just go and select it, and then switch on, uh, just toggle on and off edit topology once you've done your reselect in the topology rollout I hope that's as clear as uh, mud it probably is um, just watch the video again take notes and have a sort of strong cup of coffee and you'll be set to go so that will do actually I think um, this is quite an important one um, and there you go so yeah we'll have a look at some more retopology stuff another day so have fun and go and build lots of cool interesting cats. See ya. Bye.